fair warning on this one, I recorded this when I had only two hours of sleep. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, welcome back to the Road to SSL series in 3v3. Today is episode number 7, and for today we're going to become Lethamir. So thank you so much to Arcade Assassin for the recommendation. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video yesterday. If you didn't check it out, it's The Hive. It's a brand new map that me and Mr. Swaggles collaborated together to finish. It was a lot of fun, and you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. But now it's time to make Lethamir, so let's see how it goes. Alright, so I searched up man holding mirror, and honestly, none of these photos really work that well, except for the first one. So it looks like we're going to grab this one, even though it's kind of tiny, and hopefully it doesn't look too pixelated. Alright, now it's time to get a photo of me, so I gotta put myself right here. I don't know if I need to mess with myself too much here. Honestly, this one probably will work out well enough. His hair's off to the si other side, so let me turn myself around here. I mean, this one's pretty simple. Alright, so my, my head probably shouldn't be peeking out of the mirror here, huh? So let me just erase that real quick i mean <laughs> i guess it's what you wanted um i don't know what to do with the side of his face it's kind of kind of hard to like get that perspective so you know what it's gonna have to do doesn't really make sense but it is what it is okay i'm gonna be a little bit honest and say that, that was a little bit of a lazy photo making but i hope you guys enjoy it regardless that's lethamir right there so last episode we were at champ 2 division 4 at 1302 we're actually already almost into champ 3 here it's been pretty quick series so far i know that because we haven't lost an episode yet or lost a game that we're actually moving up really really fast so we'll probably start to lose some games here and there uh quite soon and then we'll probably slow down the climb here but if you are enjoying the episodes and you haven't subscribed yet it would help out a ton for the road to 2 million subscribers so far away but you know a man can dream let's jump in the next game see how it goes Alright, so for the first game, we've got Gabo and Kronos Mayhem and Bryceism versus me, uh, Xtrangor, and Nick. I'm a little bit worried about my name for this one because it's pretty close to my actual name that I feel like people might actually catch on. Um, so far, the bad kickoff there just means I need to go back to the back corner. I could have probably stolen that, stolen that boost too, but my teammate sh should have probably grabbed that. Okay, so I, right here I can wait. Once again, see where I'm waiting. Um... It's not like too close to the opponents because they can make a clear over my head. So I want to make sure that I position in a spot. It's pretty solid. I want to cover that midfield too once they bounce off. Right here, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, once again, just taking the, the back roll. Trying to wait for the clears. I ended up missing. This could be a goal for them too. I ended up missing as well. Should have been a goal though. There we go. Make a good save. Wait for Bryceism here. To our right. Good. If that goal went in, it definitely would have been my fault. But uh, we're, you know, recording pretty late here. Good position by Nick. Good play. Take a shot towards target and see what happens. Great save. Just trying to give some pressure. Once again, just trying to wait for the next opportunity. So let's see what happens to Kronos here. He's going to pop the ball away. Now I can go on this. Teammate might want to take it though. Not the greatest touch because it ends up just giving it right back to the opponents. So I'll get behind and be the next player. Wait for Gabo to make it clear. I went up. So that's fine for Bryce as I'm here. Oh, I tried off that corner clear as well. Good clear. Gabo might have a free shot though. And nice play there. So I'm missing those corners. I need to make sure I uh, go a little bit higher off the backboard. Another great clear by, by Nick either. He needs to keep that tight against the wall. Should definitely be playing a little bit faster though. I always, whenever I play this road to SSL, like I'm never sure how much I should be doing. And that's a big problem. Because like I could have probably scored twice by now. But I kind of just like, you know trying to not play too fast so it's like this weird mentality of like kind of half <laughs> half going for everything right here just wait for the touch i'm gonna pop this around him pop over another one as well see what chronos does pop this middle maybe good my teammate could be there it's a good try it could have been a pass off to me honestly i gotta be here once again i talked about this before you kind of want to be a shooter but then not actually score obviously because it's your own net um, in those situations, like playing it from that position is a lot better than playing it um, at the net. Because it's way more difficult to make clears like that when you're trying to read the ball going backwards. People mostly practice um, shooting. And that's where you would shoot from. Just don't, you know, don't score. Let's see if my teammate can take it. Good try. Make a good shot towards target. Almost. And there we go. So I kind of picked it up a little bit. Um, definitely shouldn't be missing those earlier balls, but the teammate got a pretty good receive from my pass, but he could have boomed that upwards instead of just going towards target. There's two players trying to block the, the goal, so they really should be, uh, you know, keeping mindful of the fact that, um, when there's two players in net, you don't really want to just throw the ball at target all the time unless it's like a really hard save. 
Um, right here, I want to be ready for this. Try to beat this guy. x Tranger can stay with this, and I can get the back corner. Not a great touch from my, from my teammate, but hopefully we can pop this up and bump Bryce's in the way. Good try, get a nice block. Tranger takes the boost, which is good, and he loops out for my teammate. Not the greatest. It's gonna be really bad too, but I saw that they were uh, not really able to reach the ball. I was waiting for the touch. Not a great touch for my teammate either, because there's no one to back him up. Teammate could have went up the wall here to catch it, but instead he's gonna clear it to the opponents. A lot of throw away in these corners. Make a shot here, see what happens. Chronos kind of panicking. And there we go. So in that situation, I know I can clear that if I just run up to the, the ball as fast as possible and just get a side flip. Right here, Kronos needs to make a touch. Didn't know if my teammate was there to receive. Doesn't look like he was. And we end up getting a uh, free goal there. So we're picking up a little bit. It's like the problem is I'm, I'm not really moving like super fast all the time. And then I'm kind of like changing my pace because I'm trying to match to a speed of a champ. But it's super, super hard to do that. I'll miss. I'm going to let my teammates take this instead, actually. If they want to. Or they don't want to. Oh my. So let's see what, what happens here off the backboard. Both teammates go up to make a good clear. And that could be the end of the game. There we go. So a few misses for me at the beginning. But, you know, we're just warming up. And uh, we get 25 points. This might be, probably actually is, uh, Champ 3 here. So let's see the promotion. There it is, Champ 3. Not too bad. And uh, we're in Division 1. So we're going to be a bit of a climb. The other team had one Champ 2, but two Champ 3s. And uh, honestly, so far, like I said, it just looks like consistency is the problem. A lot of people play pretty fast this rank, but they're just not like super consistent. So it's very hard to like read what's going to happen. So what I'm trying to do is adapt as much as I can to the situation at hand and not try to predict things. I've, I've had problems with that in the past in the 2v2 series where I was trying to predict stuff that wasn't happening. So I'm just going to play the game as I see it. And uh, it seems to be working so far. All right, so it seems like we've got another champ three on our team. And we got an entire teamed up uh, lobby on the other side. So it's always interesting to play a team that's like fully communicating versus, uh, um, you know, a solo queue team like we are. Let's see if Dustin wants that. The reason why I waited for that on the backboard is because um, I know that um, if I if I see that guy get demoed in midfield, I know I have a lot more space, so I just take the collection instead. Should have grabbed that boost as well, but that's okay. Wait for them to make a touch. They end up not, but that's okay. Oh, I thought that guy was touching it. He kind of made it clear, but super awkward. It's okay for my teammate to jump up for that. I know that I can make a pretty solid clear to keep it safe. Uh, when my teammate jumps like that, though, it's a little bit dangerous because then two of us are committed pretty early. Maybe a big clear from the opponents. I itch my nose real quick. That's fine. There we go. One player committed. Two players committed. Okay, that's fine. As long as my teammate follows it up, which he does. I know I have a little bit of space here. Let him touch it. That's fine. That was, there we go. <laughs> that works. See what Abdul does. Still stay with this. They're not really going, but I can probably pop it over both of them because they're not really challenging fast enough. So right there, I try to make a catch. Keep the ball close to me. And then I can pop it up and stay close uh, on this touch. I was trying not to... Uh, I was trying not to uh, get a bad 50-50. There's a good chance that if he challenges like that... Um, wait a minute. I think he knows. He knows. I see what Yoda does here. It's a bit of a miss. Both players uh, end up missing. Right here, I'm going to pressure this guy to bump him a little bit. He ended up jumping up higher, and it's in. There we go. Nice. So Dustin makes a good touch to the uh, top left. Try to pressure this those ribs guy because he was last, and it gives a lot of room for uh, my teammate to push in. Do a fake in a front. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say anything. Wait for this touch from them first, and then wait for the touch uh, for my teammate. Close. A lot of a lot of three v three can be boiled down to uh, whoa, uh, just like constantly covering every option. I know that sounds like okay, that's Rocket League in a nutshell, but like in three v three, there's so many more options to have to cover. Uh, because there's more players on the field. So you kind of want to cover as many things as possible. Sometimes you just can't cover everything because uh, there's just, you know, someone on your team like overcommits or something. And you get in a situation where uh, this guy just wants to talk to me, man. I'm just trying to record a video. I don't want to reveal myself. He can, he can, uh, he can continue to think it's maybe fake. Okay, a bit of a miss from that one guy. Um, I think I skimmed off me. Whoa! What a touch. 
Like, bounce out perfectly. I'll pop it off the backboard. Once again, just trying to play the ball around the opponents. Get patience. Gonna wait for Melodiac to make a touch. Pop up the sidewall. Should be my teammate to collect. Decent touch, but it ends up going to the opponents. Actually, they didn't. They waited, so that's a free goal. They really should have probably been on that ball. The second that Abdul throws the ball faster than him, uh, Yoda should know to turn on this because it's too far away for him to be able to catch up fast enough. Unless the ball bounces, which it did, and then they get a he gets a free possession. Um, when the ball bounces, it loses a lot of speed uh, because of the friction. I don't know the ball. The ball has a weird like weird properties that people don't know about, like the fact that the spin actually affects how the ball bounces. Oh boy. Good try. Decent touch. I'll try to follow this up immediately. Let's pop it forward. With that miss, this could be good for us. I'm going to jump out for this. Can't remember where my teammate's going. I'm going to try and re readjust, though, and make a shot towards target, at least. I'm not going for this ball. I'm just trying to fake him so he goes for a clear. And I'll take the boost. Decent touch. I'm always constantly monitoring whether or not I should be turning in on, on any of those balls, too. Like, when they spill in. Like, I might look like I'm always going just straight back but I'm also like keeping an eye on um, like when I can turn uh, not the greatest touch from the opponent good save though good try good save again but all the players committed all right probably throws off the wall see my teammate wants to follow it mid Dustin maybe oh he got dusted get it ha the demo not the greatest position to be demoing because then this might be a shot still try to keep it up if I can Oh, what a 50-50. Nice. And Abdul's not moving. All right, decent second game. Not too bad. I hope I'm trying... I hope I'm doing a good job of, like, explaining things. Uh, this Abdul guy really wants to party with me and talk to me. I'm trying to record, man. I'm trying to do my best to help everybody. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do a really good job of, like, explaining my thought process through these. Um, do I join this guy? And last time I joined with somebody, they betrayed me. I don't know if I... I'm getting PTSD from that. I'm gonna solo the last one though. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't want to party with one, one one for one game. We'll we'll, we'll jump into the last one solo because I think uh, the last time I joined with somebody, they betrayed me absolutely so hard that it's ruined it for everybody else. All right, so we're already halfway up 1300. It's moving along pretty quickly here. We got Tossin and Godlike on my team and Jay. Lorangatang and Agent Frog. Agent Frog, not Ancient. <laughs> Wait, Godlike just left the ball there. That's a, bit, a little bit strange. Should have definitely been like keeping his momentum and he probably could have made a good challenge. Good 50-50. Bad clear from the opponents. I'll slot this. Maybe not in the net. <laughs> okay, now it's in the net. <laughs> I tried to slot that top left. It's pretty free ball after Lorangatang made a bad clear like that. Snipe the top left. It just bounced off both posts. Just a perfect pass, honestly. You know, it's late. Give me a break. He stays with it. I don't really want to follow this because it's probably going to be 50 50 in mid, which is exactly what happens. Now we can wait for this touch and throw it towards the backboard. We're getting into higher level here where we're almost in uh, Grand Champ 1. So we're expecting to see a lot more consistency, a lot more patience, a lot better decision making. Got a flip reset here. Oh, I didn't get it, but that's okay though. I mean, that kind of worked out. Try to make sure Jay doesn't get his boost. Trying to jump early so I don't get bumped. He ended up jumping off the wall to try and bump me, but I'll bump both the both the opponents now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he got a break check me. I'll jump up for this so that way they don't get a touch. I'm gonna throw a back corner that way Tossin gets a free possession. Okay, as I said free, he kinda missed, but it's okay. Ah, uh, this is a mess in the corner. I don't really want to get involved in this. My teammates could do a better job of getting in the way and, and doing the same thing I would do, but in a position where it's not as dangerous. I'll pinch it across. Wait for Lorangatang and Jay in the corner. Took one of my teammates out of the game. Waiting behind. Okay, I'm not sure what Jay was doing on the back back there. Let's make a touch to the side. Could have got like to stay with this. Good try. There we go. Just trying to stay with the ball, trying to make good touches. If Tossin beats him here, it could be good. There we go. So that situation where he pops it up and there's the last player committed. Um, like right here, Lorangatang Tang didn't really get the, the fast challenge. I know that all I have to do is just focus on my redirect. There's nothing I need to worry about. There's no one rushing me. I don't need to play fast. I can just go into my, my mindset of playing those training packs and getting really accurate shots. And uh, that's what we did. 
Yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm super tired. I haven't been this tired for recording in a long time, but my editor does need this because he's taking a break. I think he's got a wedding to go to. But I, I can barely keep my eyes open right now, so I apologize if it's not as good quality of, of gameplay as usual. But, you know, daily uploads is daily uploads. Gotta make sure I keep the episodes going. Waiting for Jay's clear here. It's a decent touch, but I think the situation... Oh, that's not good. Let my teammate touch it. He's got a better clear. If I touch that, it could be a pop-up towards... Um, pop-up towards an opponent. So instead, I let him uh, take the clear off of the corner. I'm waiting for his touch once again. Just playing this midline defense. I've talked about this in the last couple episodes. The midline defense is super important. Let my teammate take it. He wasn't really sure if he wants to take it. That was a little bit awkward. Should be a decent 50-50. My teammate can take it again. Let's see what Jay does. Pops it up the backboard or off the side. Kind of confused what my teammates want to do here. They're trying to make a touch that keeps pressure. There we go. So Lorang Tang has this next touch. I'm going to sit back here so I can get in the way. See how I pushed back a little bit to wait for that clear in case he did it? If In that situation, because of me going back... What Lorangatang should do instead, if he has the mechanics, is to uh, take a soft touch and then uh, play that position instead. I gotta be a little bit careful. Both my teammates went for that backward touch. So I wanted to cover that before they got uh, more pressure. There we go. Pretty free goal there. They end up popping out off the uh, the back corner as the last man on defense. Lorangatang once again as third man, not making the best clear. I'm not even sure what that touch was. His car kind of like flipped upside down. But uh, in that situation, you need to make sure that you uh, you cover uh, the corner in a way that it doesn't pop out back into mid for the opponents to clear again. Uh, so what he could have done there is probably made a softer touch so it's not as hard. Or the other thing he could have done is hit the curve instead like this, how it pops up nice and soft. Alright, so this is like 35 seconds left here. And that wasn't the greatest flip reset, but we did get it. And uh, with f uh, 32 seconds left, there's not really much they can do. I'm kind of, I think I did a little bit too much there though. I don't know if like a champ three would do something like that. I'm not sure. It was not like too difficult just to pop the ball with that. Especially at this rank when you've gotten used to timing like air dribbles and pops and stuff. Uh, at this point at like uh, champ three division uh, or grand champ, I feel like you should be able to time your half volleys pretty well. And uh, a lot of people are practicing their flip reset mechanics. All three players go. So I now have a lot more space than they, than they think. I'm just going to wait for him to challenge me, pop the corner. I probably could have went a little bit faster there, but right now I'm just trying to stall time. And there we go, his last goal. So, pretty solid game to finish it off. I think I did a little bit too much this game, though. Yeah, we have three goals. I, I never really know how much I'm doing. I'm kind of like autopiloting while I'm trying to explain my thoughts. And I, I think that's like still valuable, but I just feel bad for this rank because they're trying their best, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like, uh, I feel like we're kind of climbing up pretty fast, so we're getting into like faster, faster gameplay every every video, which is definitely good because then it's a you know a stark contrast between each each video. But um, like I said, I hope I am explaining my thoughts pretty well. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.